Welcome to this week's Optimist Newscast. I'm Cynthia Rangel. On Wednesday, the men of Edwards Hall hosted an escape room free of charge for students. The escape room featured volunteer students in torn costumes and makeup leading visitors through the escape. Freshman Andrew Norsworthy had never been to a haunted house or escape room before and was impressed with how scary it was. If you're coming in just for some fun, just get ready to be scared because you're not going to walk away without screaming at least once. The escape room was laid out in the basement of Edwards Hall and included sound effects and designs meant to make it feel more realistic. The creator, Junior Garrick Martin, knew he wanted to make an escape room once he heard there was a basement. He says he enjoyed scaring the visitors. Just seeing their faces alight with horror yet excitement. It is a beautiful mix. Due to popular demand, the Edwards Hall escape room will feature one more night on Saturday for anyone in the community willing to come for a fright. For the whole month of October, Disability Resource Incorporated hosted their annual pumpkin patch. Other than the rain slowing the crowds down, for seven days a week, the DRI residents and staff, along with hundreds of volunteers, worked the pumpkin patch. Last year, over 10,000 people visited during the month to purchase their fall pumpkins and to take advantage of the photo opportunities. We spoke to house manager Sharon Ely about what the fundraiser benefits. It's to benefit DRI. The pumpkins come from New Mexico, and then we get a portion of what we sell. We have our, our folks are disabled, and we provide them home and work. They do not yet have an estimated number of how many people bought pumpkins this year, but they said they felt pleased with how the crowd started picking up closer to Halloween. That's all for this week's newscast. For more campus news and events, you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at ACU Optimist. For The Optimist, I'm Cynthia Rangel.